Yeah. Filmed let's go. Intro. Let's go chill on the couch. Chill on the That's couch. That's what I'm good at. So yeah. let's uh, let's okay. do that. Right. Pro of that. What's up, everyone? This is your boys, Glass Cloud. We're chilling here in Cleveland, the beautiful Cleveland, Ohio, and we're chilling at the AP offices today because we love Alternative Press. And we're gonna do a segment called Off the Wall because you can't see, but the the walls are littered with all of their their issues starting from 1985 till today. And there's some really, really awesome bands that they put on the covers. And we're gonna talk about one specific cover and band that relates to our life in some way, shape, or form. So, let's go. This is oh, shit. Pop Disaster from when me and, I was in seventh grade, Chad was in eighth grade. Was that 2002? 2000, yeah, 2002. And we went and Saves the Day opened for them. Saves the Day was like one of our favorite bands at the time. We were actually playing, we started playing together when we were 12 and 13. Weren't we late showing up? I think we like missed. We missed, Saves no, we missed Saves the Day's like first few songs. Yeah, yeah. And they played at an amphitheater, which is a, re a real weird place to see them during the day. And we, we had uh, we had lawn seats. We didn't have like the ball and like we weren't like under the, the dome or anything. You're not yeah, I'm not out here sweating out. Yeah, it was bad. Pretty much. <laughs> but we actually were playing together. We started playing together in a Blink cover band when we were like in seventh and eighth grade, and then we graduated on to Taking Back Sunday covers, and then we. Graduated on the Finch covers, and then we started writing our own shit. Yeah. And then we went to. So the there was some thrice stuff. in there somewhere. But that's where it started. <laughs> yeah, thrice. Some. Uh, that was about it, though. That's all we did. Then we started writing our own shit, and then we went to school. Yeah. That was it. But that is probably the, one of the best concerts I've ever seen, especially as a child. Yeah. For sure. I think. What issue it would be my favorite issue that I've read? Oh. This is the issue that I care about most. This is my favorite issue. He's called Tyler Carter. I get to hang out with him every day on the This Is How The Wind Shifts tour. He's my brother and I love him. I love to watch issues every day because they pump me up. And it's cool when they play before and after because I just got a good day that day. So this is my brother Tyler and he's my favorite issue. This right here, this is Deftones so long ago that I guarantee most of you don't even understand their first record is called Adrenaline. You like this card, it's just like real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So, uh, what do you even say about something like this? This is like Deftones at the earliest, rawest, most aggressive, angry, just everything, full tilt. Like, maxed out. You're maxing out right now. You're maxing out right now. This is it. This is where it all started. For me, right there. Back, like, when is this? Look at this. Where does it even say that? See, this isn't even all the way back either. This is August of 2000. I mean, we can go... This era, this era, look at this. That's 98. Like, this is like the trifecta of everything. Like. That's just where I grew up at. Like that's where everything that I like am most into came from. It's like literally first two bands I ever heard in my life. Same day, like one song from one band, one song to the other. The first one was Tool. And the second one was Corn. First two bands I ever heard in my life. And then I heard Death Thomas. And it was called Adrenaline. And I listened to that record on when we're out. Listen to it all the time. People are like, what is this? It's like, I don't even got time to talk to you about this right now. I tell you, like, who are we just talking to? Somebody was just in here a minute ago and we were like, you know, talking about Deftones, like, you know, their new record. It's like, yeah, do you know about their old stuff? And they're like, yeah, you mean like White Pony? I'm like, don't get me started right now. Don't get me started. Just. Do some history. You already know the name. Just rewind the tape a little bit so you know where these dudes really came from. Because this is really what's good. Paint it on this. Like, get that all up in your face. Understand. Like, the man. The man, the man, the man, the man. They're all the man. Period. 
the mans. All of them are the mans. A little closer.